Hello and back, welcome back to the water, my name is Beast, today we're back with, uh, Sky of Stars, uh, I'm just going to say it, it's half past 9pm, so, this part isn't going to be that particularly long, I'm probably like going to go for like an hour and a half, maximum, because uh, I too am tired sometimes, and uh, my day hasn't, like, like I say it hasn't been too great, but it's literally one thing went wrong, and that for some reason ruined my that ruined my mood like immediately. Like I was like for the past few weeks I've had a con hadn't have noticed like a constant decline of my mood along with my self esteem. And basically today something that actually gave me a boost to that. Like I felt better about myself, and suddenly I fucked up making burger patties spectacularly, and for some reason that absolutely messed me up. I don't know why. So, uh, yeah. Only a short one today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, no, also no roulette today because I don't feel like it. Uh, just like, uh, just like that, the three of us went to buy underwear. Me, Sasa, and Hinamine. Quite the unusual trio. On the way there, on the way here, I had noticed people looking Sasa's way. Must have, they must have thought she was the most beautiful out of us. <laughs> Thorsty. I don't know why I look like that. Actually, something I feel the need to show y'all is real quick. Um, where the fuck did I put it? Hold on. Uh, open that. Desktop. Because I rediscovered the Taito Shokan Uitsushikai anime. And I was just watching miscellaneous scenes when something came up that I knew I just had to edit. So I made this. Don't worry, I actually used a template. I'm not talented enough to crop it out that well, because I'm retarded or something. But yeah, Smug Kodachi. Because Smug Kodachi is great. And also, I rediscovered the opening for the anime, which I abs immediately downloaded. Also, I'm slightly upset because there's lit literally no one uploaded Green Barley Road onto YouTube. That's literally like one of the best fucking soundtracks in the in the entire fucking game, and nobody thought to upload it. So yeah. Anyways, uh, good going. But come to Harbor Town to look for a new bra. ここならいいのが見つかると思うよ。星の中でおしゃれなもの買おうと思ったら、ここしかないもんね。二人ともすぐランジェリーショップに行ってもう平気平気です。コロナもオッケーだよ。それじゃあ、レッツゴー。That's got to be awkward, isn't it? Oh, this this angle. Everything was shining brilliant the moment we stepped out one foot in the lingerie, lingerie corner. Just the look of them, the, just from the look of them, they were in a completely different price range from the ones that I normally wore. We all went to different areas. We all chose the cutest one in my size. I would try them on after picking a few, but before that, we had one of the staff m staff measure my size. Fortunately, I couldn't compare to Sasa. Yeah, like I said, she's not small! I keep fucking saying that! She is not small! On the other hand, there was one other person. Who was probably worse off than me? Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Bye. <laughs> Bye. She sounded like fucking Kirby there. Bye. 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 Like, like, just listen to this and tell me that she doesn't sound like fucking Kirby. I was victorious of Hinamine, 
But that wasn't really anything to be proud of. Oh boy. Is it okay to show this? I feel like this isn't okay. It isn't okay to show this. Uh. Hold on, first off, uh. Fuck transparency. That's not transparent. There we go. Now I can't see through anymore. Let me grab this and just up, 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 up it until we can actually read. And then I should, I should have actually like jotted down the timestamp earlier. Ignore these timestamps; they're from the Ditsy Demons video. Uh, zero five forty, I guess. There we go. Oh, fuck off. The one that I chose was a jacket. Pattern top and bottom set they were much cuter than the ones that I normally wore, so it wasn't exciting. You know what? Why the fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I I had a worse CG of Arl in the last video, and I didn't need to censor it. I didn't feel the need to censor it. So this, fuck it, this can stay. They were both praising me, but it wasn't... I wasn't that proud of myself. <laughs> Showing lingerie to other girls was, was still quite embarrassing. I was confident in my body and I didn't want people lo looking at me. They brought pair after pair of underwear. Jesus. He's immediately gonna wear wear, wear him. Or not. Oh, 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 that Princess brought a light green pin. You colorblind. Bitch, you colorblind. Like yellow. That, that blue, fuck. Mmm, I fucked up. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I can still see where I accidentally like splashed myself with fat here while making the burgers. The ribbon was quite cute. They had a plain design, but they were, were but, but were still fairly erotic. Both the top and bottom used the thin fabric, used thin fabric, and were both um, and were quite revealing. Is the kind that you like, Sasa? <laughs> The things people suggest for others. Hinwin mean, was being herself with that kind of underwear. <laughs> was she really going to buy the black ones? Hinwin mean, was a myste mystery that would never be solved. We got several after trying on several pairs. I got several. I got a bunch of items other than underwear to improve my femininity, like perfume and accessories. Sasa and Hinamin also bought some stuff. They say that shopping would brighten a girl's day, and it seemed that really was true. 
カコハーバータウンまで来たんだし遊んで帰ろうよ賛成私はいいけど山田さんってまだ受験終わってないんじゃないのうわっつちなみに今日はこれくらいにしとこ勉強しないと後で後悔しても知らないよ分かった今日は帰る山田さんよかったら勉強見てあげようかいいんですかプリンセス直々に教えていただけるなんて<笑>そのプリンセスっていうのやめてくれたら教えてあげるあわかりましたお忍びですもんね興奮するあまりついまた呼んでしまいましたじゃあそろそろ行こっか After that, we went back to, the, to my place and helped Tina Mean with her studies. Worked hard with Salsa to teach her. We studied until night time. Finally, Tina Mean became too exhausted to study anymore, so the two of them left. <sighs> As I lay down on the bed, I thought about what happened today. Salsa, Hinami, and I, a strange crew, but it felt right. But she wasn't angry about it. Aki was the same, but she had an aura of someone looking for attention. Hime looked like she had things under control, but really she was a scaredy cat and lonely. She always pampered me, but she wanted to be spoiled as well. Several cans of underwear, and then perfume, accessories, and hairpins. Mom might be angry if she found it. If it wasn't for passing my exams, uh, exam, I was sure that she would confiscate it. I was a girl, and I was in love. I wanted to be cuter, so you would fall in love with me. Ah, yes, I am the prettiest girl. One person fashion show, and then her brother walks in. Swip, I dressed. I would choose the underwear to try on after I took my clothes off. That was close. I even got the black ones that Hinamin picked. The garter belt was quite erotic. Oh yeah, garter belts. Ah, 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 ah. If I hit them in the closet. I even bought the one that Sasa had recommended. I doubt there would be a time for these to make their debut. I was going to hold on to that secret power. If Aki wasn't okay with them, they'd go further back. The ones that I chose. They were cute at first glance. I'd only ever used the underwear that my mother had bought for me. I'd never thought about buying my own. As people didn't fall in love. I'd been passive most of my life, but this romance was the first thing I desired. So I was going to make it happen. I'd do anything to make it happen. I tried on the underwear. I had a different kind of ti it had a different kind of tightness than a sports bra. Do we need to zoom in? I felt insecure, but all the important parts were covered up. Her breasts looked bigger than I than when I wore a sports bra. I was also starting to see some cleavage. Took a photo with my phone. If people saw this photo, they'd think I was a bikini model or something. Don't. No! 
I would show myself in girly underwear. As I did a little after writing the message. And push. I sent it to Aki. Looks like he read it. So, how is he going to respond to it? What? Thank you, I'm going to use this as my family heirloom. Didn't think he'd reply like that. I thought he would rebuke me like an adult. I thought that these small breasts weren't good for anything. I knew that Aki loved big ones, so I hadn't thought that he would care about mine. But he was happy about it. I was kind of embarrassed over the strange wording. He was excited over me and my underwear. I mean, all I can think about is she probably sent it to the wrong person or something. For some reason, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, accidentally sends, uh, sends it to, I don't fucking know, Hinamin. What did I do? I was getting butterflies! Up until now, Aki hadn't noticed me like that before. Maybe it was too late, but I wasn't... Maybe it was too late, but I was getting worried all over again. I'd go too far sending a picture of me in underwear. I pulled up the picture that I had sent Aki. I just sent Aki. <laughs> <laughs> Results from buying this new underwear were clear. My breasts were pushed together, giving the effect of showing cleavage that I didn't normally have. I had done it to seduce Aki, but simply thinking about it was embarrassing to the point that my face felt like it would catch on fire. I hope you liked it. I just wanted to wanted him to like me a little bit. I knew that it was wishful thinking. But it would be great if he liked me back. Just one in a hundredth as much. Uh, uh, just one hundredth as much as I liked him. It was always like this. Every time I thought about Aki, my chest hurt and it made me sad. It was so painful, but also joyful to the point where I couldn't control my emotions. <laughs> When I was filled with love, I could just say it was many times as possible. What? When I was filled with love, I would just say it as many times as possible. I felt a little better after I did that. But in exchange, I would fall more in love with Aki. Jeez, I can't do anything about this. That was the wrong button. I love Aki. A lot. Huh. I was expecting an awkward situation of someone walking in or they're like... Iroiro. Corona came to thank the manager and to tell her that she got into the, her school of choice. She had brought a box of cake along to properly show her appreciation. おかげさまで、無事志望校に合格できました。勉強する場所、コロナに貸してくれたおかげです。いいんだよ、そんなの。貸してあげようって言ったのは、サラミ君だしね。若いのにわざわざこんなものまで持ってきて。and her gaze fell upon Miss Miyaru in the corner, looking rather displeased. <laughs> The manager looked kind of down and went out to the back of the store. Just wait in my room, I'll head up there right after I cheer up the manager. 
I took a few minutes to cheer up the manager. After she recovered a bit, I put Miss Miyoto in charge of the store and... Uh, she put Miss Miyoto in charge of the store and sent me off with a smile on her face. Thanks, Corona. Uh, sorry for making you wait. I sat down opposite of Corona. Corona. There we go. I sat down at the Kotatsu and forced myself to look at Corona. She had a big smile on her face. For some reason, I couldn't look her in the eyes. Uh, well, yeah. I was just thinking about how long it's been since you came here. I had seen her a few times in the last few days, but the last time she had come here had been before the test. Lots happened since then, so it's hard to go back to how things once were. When I said that, Corona remembered what happened. Her face went red from embarrassment. It's not just that. Remember what we talked about after seeing your test results? It was an uncomfortable laugh. Something was different about, about her. She must have been concerned about her confession. About that. Thank you for telling me how you feel. It made me happy. Like, the phrasing, thanks, uh, it made me quite happy. Uh, that's never good. That, 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 that always reeks of a butt. It was quite uncomfortable. Uh, when would you like an answer? Okay, gotcha. So the confession was still up in the air. If I didn't give her an answer, then we couldn't go back to normal. Right, then the conversation is over. She probably knew how impossible that would be, but we need to go oh, over it. Uh, but we need to go over it, otherwise we wouldn't be able to relax. I wouldn't survive winter without it. Honest to God, like... She's saying that the confession didn't count, so therefore, technically, you don't. That your answer isn't pending, since, in a way, the confession never happened. Confess to her yourself. Also, let like turn my head a bit so you can't see my neck. There we go. <laughs> Beards are very useful. Anyways, uh. Uh, I think I forgot to read that. Yeah, I wouldn't survive went without it. There we go. I think it was two or three degrees cooler here. It really was warmer around Hoshino Station. Sure, I like when you come over. Please do. It was going. This was going to be awkward. It was my turn to come up with a topic to talk about. Oh yeah, about that thing earlier. I was talking about the picture of Coral in her underwear she had sent me. I'd replied with a joke, but I'd actually been kind of ex kind of excited when I saw it. Don't take that seriously. I thought about replying like that. I felt a little wrong, but I still replied like I did. She got up from the kotatsu and slid over my way. She pulled up her hair and showed me the nape of her neck. The nape of her neck was pure white, and Lou's hairs were so cute. No, I really can't. At the invitation, I moved closer to the nape of her neck. That's when I finally realized it. That's a nice smell. <laughs> it's a perfect citrusy scent for an energetic girl like Corona. Mixed with the... Smell of a girl's skin mixed with the smell of a girl's skin made it quite arousing. This, this is a rant. This is a oh yes, this is a rant I just had to read. This is a line I just had to read. 
のくらいだと気づきにくいかもねだから君もっと近くで感じていいよコロナ came close My nose was so close to the nape of her neck that it was almost touching <laughs> I'm sorry Wait, 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 you're way too close. それはいいの。For complaining about being ticklish, she wasn't trying to distance herself. Hey. Oh man. Stop that. <laughs> My lips touched the back of her neck. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. It's safe if it's right here. <laughs> She leaned over like she wanted something. This time she was careful and, careful and slow. Corona touched her skin to my lips. I didn't run away and just let it happen. <laughs> my lips only touched her skin. The smell of perfume filled the room, making me see her as a full grown woman. Naturally, I wrapped my arms around Corona. It wasn't a hug exactly, but just putting my arms around her. But I had a strong sense of but but I had a strong sense of unity. Still, still no reply. Still not gonna reply here. Here you go, ma'am. I took one of the items on sale and gave it to the manager who stood behind the counter. It isn't for me. She looked worried as she looked my way and passed it through the register. Corona might have finished her exams, but Hoshino Daichi was steadily getting ready for its entrance exams. At the end of the month, we would see the examinees. Wondered if any of them would be interested in joining the astronomy club. You'd hear the bubble of water as the electric kettle came to boil. I switched off the electric kettle and filled the cup with boiling water. There you are. Just the person I was waiting for. Good time, too. Uh, so, uh, I want to bang your sister. <laughs> like, imagine that. Just like you're being called in by your best friend. Like, he just sits you down, makes you some nice cup, uh, cup, uh, like cup noodles. Just sits you down, just go ahead. Enjoy yourself. So, uh, I want to bang your sister. How would you react? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like uh, excluding the choices, like uh, punching him in the face, because that would be kind of boring. Also, that would be my choice, so uh, think of something else. Just think of something else. <laughs> Anyways, uh, normally, he, he normally... He normally come here whenever he wanted, but he got upset the only time I asked him to come. He normally comes here whenever he wanted, but he got up gets upset the only time I asked him to come. There's something I want to show you. I closed the lid on the kettle and returned it. It was curry from Thailand or Malaysia or some or or someplace. It had been a big craze for a little while, but it had quickly been forgotten again. He looked at me like I was cruel, which kind of freaked me out. I'm not. I'm gonna give it to you. You always help me out, man. Yeah, go ahead. We were having a good time as we talked. Takichi split his chopsticks and started eating. Is it really that sweet? I ate the bit that Takichi gave me. It was sweet, but not so much that it doesn't count as curry. I like it, but I can see how it's not your not to your liking. I could agree with him on that. But... Well, about that. This was kind of an awkward thing to talk about for me. It's about Corona. What would you think if I started going out with her? <laughs> like, it's just like... 
Well, about fucking time, my god. Come here, brother. <laughs> he looked okay with it to me. Yeah, but she didn't win me over. She just told me how she felt. I'm talking, you, be, talk, talking to you because I couldn't do that. I was getting flustered with myself. Why am I so indecisive? What is it? Really? Corona didn't stand a chance against her if they fought. But it was quite easy to imagine Corona backing down if she could see that if she had lost. いつの間にか名校に合格するくらいにまでなってたうちの母ちゃんが自慢するのもわかるよあいつスペック高えんだ like, God, if I was Takichi, I would, I would probably like develop some kind of like inferiority complex <laughs> work shows そういうとこも含めてスペック高いんだよあそこまで努力できるやつ普通いねぞ I have been able to see that as well recently she focused hard on the problem in front of her. I could appreciate that part of her as genius. だからまあ、あとには悪いけど、いつかあいつの恋は叶うと思ってたよ。すげえよな。我が妹ながらよ。出来の悪い兄としては、いささか気遅れすんぜ。I've decided whether or not I would actually go out with her. 無理無理。ここまで来たら手遅れだろ。実際お前。あいつのことかわいいって思い始めてるし I can't help it if she's actually cute If she actually is cute ほら見ろそういうこと言ってる時点でもう戻れないんだよいい加減腹をくくっちまえお前が答えてやったらあいつはいい女になるぞ I tried to come up with a comeback but I had nothing Takichi was right after all I didn't think that Corona was cute to the point where I was trying to decide if there was really any reason to turn her down. Masaman was nothing compared to the sweetness of love. <laughs> I know I decided to do, to do that. Today, we had a special meeting for the Six Stars Club. The reason was... Kisakabe Corona-san, Gokaku omedetou gozaimasu! Omedetou gozaimasu! Congratulations! That's right, Six Stars Club was throwing a celebration party for Corona. Minna, arigato! Demo, demo, kono mae chanto oiwai shite moratta yo! Sore wa, meikou gakui no zaikou sei to shite desu. Any excuse for more partying? Says the, who, says the one who doesn't go to parties. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Anyways. Corona was blushing a bit from all this tension. Corona-san Corona had been wondering if she should join the astronomy club immediately or not, but it seems that seemed that she had decided. In April, she would be Corona of Taigata, saying that was like announcing that she was joining the club. What well, was bursting with emotion as she hugged Corona. What do you mean, squeal and joy as Corona's suffering fell on deaf ears? Orime is happier than when Corona was accepted into the school. But really wanted Corona to join the club. 
and able to ask her directly, I'm sure that Orihime had been waiting on Corona's answer. いい香り。これはどうしたんですの?へへへ。香水だよ。ちょびっとだけつけてるの。いい香りでしょ。コロナさんらしい、爽やかで元気な香りですわ。今の白鳥さんなら、箸がコロガルだけでも大喜びしそ
Speaking of the corners of the universe, uh, Corona, could I borrow that book? Hi, Dozo, Akini. Corona lent me the book as I looked for the photo I wanted. Uh, here we go, this is it. This is the Hubble Extreme Deep Field, also known as the HXDF. Uh, also known as HXDF, uh, it uh, is an examination of extreme deep space. This here is the fruit of our desire to know deep space. Hubble Deep Field stated in 1995 and repeated its mission multiple times after. If you took an extremely long exposure photo, you could capture the dim light from the depths of, the, of space and put it all together to make a picture. Hubble had succeeded in taking such photos of the edge of space with long exposures. HXDF is a picture of space deep in the Fornax constellation, just like the Hubble D Ultra Deep Field that was taken from 2003 to 2004. However, the Hubble Extreme Deep Field is an even longer exposure, uh, exposure of just a single part of the Hubble D Ultra Deep Field. For 10 years between 2002 and 2012, it took a total of 2 million seconds or 22 and a half days. そんなにすごいことなの Dark celestial bodies known in HXDF are about one tenth billionth darker than the light a normal person can see. I don't know if that's. I don't know, my brain's shut down today. It's said that they're more than ten billion light years away. The light is teaching us about space that far away. <laughs> Yes, these countless scattered lights are each a galaxy. There were roughly 5,500 galaxies shown in the HXDF. An enormous number rare. Re the enormous number really conveyed how extraordinarily large the universe was. It was an endless vision of the universe. Looking at such a spectacle, I had to wonder just what was out there. Just wait. It's not a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. right. Hubble can detect three different types of light. So this is synthetically processed. Blue from ultraviolet, red from infrared, and green from infrared, as well as the data from visible light. Sure, the color was altered in this photo, but it doesn't change the fact that it was always there. There are kinds of light other than visible light that cannot be seen. Even that can teach us a lot. There are things there that we cannot even see. Knowing that just added to the mystery of it all. It's kind of like reference that to his relationship with uh, Corona right now. You're exactly right, Norwe. However, I think it's stuff like this that makes it really interesting. That made me blush a little. I was getting a little overexcited about this. Rime took out her phone as she said this. スマホスマホの電波は目に見えないわよね。テレビの電波も目には見えません。そうか、電波って言えば… そう。
電波望遠鏡よ。電波望遠鏡 It looked like Corona didn't know what that was. Well, the average person probably didn't know much about it either. 電波望遠鏡は電波を捉えて宇宙の様子を調べる望遠鏡のことよ。目で見る光でなく、電波で見てどのようになっているのかを探るんです。I know how you know how the atmosphere gets in the way of observations because it's between the surface and the earth and space, right? That's right. If it's cloudy, then you can't see what's beyond them, but it doesn't affect radio waves. Well, maybe not every obstacle, but radio. Telescopes were able to obs、uh, observe many astronomical phenomena that we normally can't could see. The, technical, the technician Carl Janksy from、uh, Bell Laboratories was the first person to realize that there、uh, were radio waves coming from space. He noticed the emissions coming from the Milky Way and made the world's first radio telescope. Radio telescopes gather faint radio waves from space. After analyzing the data collected, we are able to make observations about celestial bodies. Radio astronomy is able to make observations of things such as interstellar gas that normal tele telescopy cannot. Hubble was also an attempt to overcome observational limitations by physically putting a telescope in space. But radio telescopes still use a different approach and are able to show us a different view from the universe. Corona, do you know about the Nobeyama Radio Observatory? Nobeyama is a very good place. It's a very good place. Oh, fuck. There, are, there is a national observ observatory there. And it has a lot of radio telescopes. Corona, this is the Nobeyama Observatory. So I showed her a photo on her phone. Oh, I've seen it. There are many parabolas. The 45 meter wide radio telescope was Nobuyama's pride and joy, so obviously Corona would have seen it. There weren't many people who knew what they were re researching there, though. It would be cool if we could get, go there for a field trip one day. できるようです。通常公開とは別に、年に一度、特別公開も行っているとか。せっかくなら、特別公開に合わせたいわね。いつやっているのかしら。8月の下旬ですね。毎年土曜日に行っているようです。なら、企画してしまいましょうか。むつら星の会、夏合宿を。Uh, just like that, everybody got excited for the camp. Couldn't get enough of this unstoppable energy. It was a stimulation that you couldn't really get、uh, stargazing by yourself. Me too. Everyone here feels the same. <laughs> I fucked up. Maybe drinking some of this will wake me up. <sighs> yep, it's the best. It's still half a year away, but we were already dreaming about Nobe、uh, Nobeyama. I wondered what that enormous radio dish was receiving. What kind of mysteries of the universe was it solving? It had been a while since Corona came up to my room. Such diligence, she was studying even after her entrance exams. Couldn't help but feel impressed, so I opened my notebook to study as well.
You know what? I'll, at the very least, go until the confession, like the proper, like them getting together. You wouldn't believe that she had been focusing so hard about how sleepy she looked now. You could sleep for a while, I'll wake you up. You look funny when you sleep. Maybe this is just feminine modesty. So, uh, what are you studying? You finished your exams, so why do you feel the need? She showed me the worksheet that she was working on. So they're not going to give you a break. I was quite depressed. It was a bit much to give homework before school even started. Well then, uh, I was about to say that she had my condolences. As I was happy that Hoshino Daichi was so laid back. The time for her to come here to study was supposed to be over, but it looked like it would continue for a while long for a while longer. Did you really want to come here so badly? Well, the reason why was pretty clear. Corona had already told me how she felt. No, it's not. You're always welcome here. Corona was still waiting for me to tell her how I felt. With her face like that, I felt like maybe I had failed as a man. She said that she liked me with a smile. She looked nat she looked natural as she said that. It'll be unlike someone putting on a show. <laughs> I see. Thank you for saying that you like me. I wonder if I, I wonder if I'll be able to say it so naturally like she can. I wanted to tell her how I really felt without it being awkward or anything or something like anything like that. Oh no. no. I think it's very cute and girly. It was hard for a girl, uh, for a guy like me, to feel that way for someone, somebody else. I was, I, I thought he was going to talk about about something. So he was going to talk about her, but fucked up apparently. I was honestly kind of jealous of Corona, who could fall so much in love with me. It's true though. She was already bright red. Reaction right now was cute as well. I was probably falling for Corona. She was trying to get past this awkward moment by changing the topic with energy. The Alma is one of the most um, famous examples of radio telescopes. Was actually started by Japan's Nobayama. The basic idea of the Yama was thought up, uh, up by Nobayama technicians. Many countries banded together and made the 66 parabolic antennas in the Chilean desert. Data is taken from each of the 66 antennas and put together to increase the observational power. That was the idea behind Alma. There are several projects like Alma in the world. Uh, VLBI also gathers data from different regions. VLBI was short for Very Long Baseline Interferometry. Just like how Alma used multiple antennas in the desert, Vilby used different radio telescopes from around the world. Radio telescopes only receive signals depending on the antenna's configuration. 
So the basic concept was to use a radio telescope in a different region and gather data there. One of the ra one of the things that Project Vulby was trying to achieve is to map the Milky Way galaxy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Earth is inside the Milky Way galaxy, so we need to make observations on both sides or we won't be able to understand the galaxy in that exact moment. Besides, there are countless stars that overlap each other in the sky, so it's incredibly difficult to find out how many stars there really are. There were roughly 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, but that was only an estimated number. There were limits to what visible light could observe, since many celestial bodies clustered together. That's why radio observations were so important. I don't know, but I think that it would actually look... Uh, ex uh, it, but I think that it would actually be much better. It was pretty hard to imagine. I couldn't even come up with a visual. But it would give wings to the imagination. Information gathered by radio wave observations would, pro would provide us with an image of the galaxy. She whispered quietly. A magnificent dream like mapping the Milky Way galaxy. It's not like everyone everyone had one, but it would be exciting to have such a dream. ずっとずっと思ってた。コロナにはね、みんながいつもキラキラしてて眩しく見えてたんだよ。何かに夢中になって落ち込むのってすごくかっこいいと思うんだ。秋にもピカリンもひめちゃんもさやちゃんですら。
延山のパラボラを見たでしょああいうのは大きいところがやるんだよ Hubble and Alma were the same as well The big idea is could become a national or even a global project ごめんね変なこと言っちゃってさっきの話は忘れてくれていいよ The Right as she seemed to find her dream, she was starting to doubt herself. I knew how that felt. It's fine. I can't forget about it, though. Let's try to do radio wave observations. I'll help as well. It's clear to me that you want to find something to be passionate about. I might only, it might only be an idea, but it might lead to something good. Something that you yourself found, um... Something that you yourself found, or something you were told to do. Isn't that the most important thing for you right now, Corona? Orime was the one who came up with the idea to go to Nobayama. And her parents were the ones who told her to go to Meiko Academy. She had even started stargazing because that's what we were already doing. I don't want you to give up on something that you want to do so easily. Doesn't matter if it's just an idea. Let's keep pursuing it. That's how everything starts. I'll help you with the radio wave observations. Rather, I want you to let me help. Isn't the fact that I like you more than enough reason? So there is, act, after all, the confession. I'm sorry for taking so long to give you an answer. That's if you'll still have me as your boyfriend. Yeah. A guy like me... A guy like me might not be the best fit for you, though. She couldn't hold it back any longer and jump straight for me. I made sure to catch it. Of course. I want to do this as well. Her body was small but surprisingly hot. She was so delicate that I could crush her by her... But that she was so delicate that I could crush her, but her core was very strong. I'm f suddenly feeling a bit more awake. Cry as much as you want. I'll make sure to hide you so that nobody can see. She was filled with a lot of happy tears as she looked straight at me. Thank you. Love you too, Corona. Like the matter is just aside, like, what the fuck's going on? Tears flowed right down her face like a dam had burst open. Patted her on the back as she sobbed. I'm right here. It's real, don't worry. I waited for the waves to reside. When the stars were watching over us. I wonder how many times she was going to say that. She just kept saying it time after time as I held her. Countless love yous were soft, sweet, and were melting my heart. I wrapped myself ar around her in a the hug as I looked uh, looked up. Over. Look, Corona. Look, the stars. It's a special night, so let's take a good look. It was my first time watching the stars with my first girlfriend. What a cold winter day. The clear sky was so very tall and very far, far away. White mist from our breath was mixing together as it rose to the sky. It dissipated quickly, but... Our small laughter was echoing in the night sky. Like I said, sorry about the short part, but by god, I feel tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, see you next time, bye bye